So for this problem to evaluate the limits of indeterminate form using this L'Hopital's rule, so from this given to evaluate now the limit and using the direct substitution as x approaches to positive 4, so this becomes 0 over 0 or that's indeterminate. So therefore, we cannot solve this limit using the direct substitution. So to evaluate now this limit using this L'Hopital's rule, so first, we need to find the derivative for this numerator and the derivative of this denominator. So the derivative of x to the power 3, this is 3x to the power 2, then over the derivative of x to the power 2, this is 2x to the power 1, and the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. So we have now our new equation, 3x squared over 2x. Then we can use now the direct substitution. So as x approaches to positive 4, so this becomes 3 times 4 to the power 2, then over 2 times 4, or this is equal to 3 times 4 squared. This is 16 over 2 times 4, this one is 8. Then this 3 times 16, this is 48 over 8. So therefore, the limit is equal to 48 divided by 8. That's positive 6. Then for this limit, so again, direct substitution, this becomes indeterminate. So to evaluate now this limit, Using this L'Hopital's rule, so first, we need to find the derivative for this numerator. So the derivative of x squared, this one is 2x, then plus the derivative of 2x, that's 2. Then the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. Then over the derivative of 3x, this one is 3. The derivative of a constant, this one is 0. So from this equation, so we can use now the direct substitution as x approaches to positive 2. So this becomes 2 times 2 plus 2 over 3. Or this is equal to 2 times 2, this is 4. Then plus 2 over 3. Then 4 plus 2, this one is 6 over 3. So the limit is equal to 6 divided by 3, positive 2. Then for this given, so again, using the L'Hopital's rule, so we need to find the derivative for this numerator. So the derivative of 2x squared, so multiply this number to this exponent, so 2 times 2, this one is 4, then x to the power 1, then plus the derivative of x. Since there is one numerical coefficient, so therefore the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. Then for this denominator, so the derivative of x squared, this one is 2x, then minus the derivative of 2x, that's 2. And the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. Then we can use now the direct substitution. So as x approaches to negative 3, so this becomes 4 times negative 3 plus 1, then over 2 times negative 3 minus 2. Then to simplify, so 4 times negative 3, this one is negative 12, plus 1, then over 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6 minus 2. Then this is equal to negative 12 plus 1, that's negative 11, then over negative 6 and negative 2, that's negative 8. 
then since the same negative, therefore this becomes positive 8 over 11. Then for this given, so again using the L'Hopital's rule, so the derivative of this numerator, the derivative of x to the power 3, this one is 3x, then minus 1 for the exponent, so to the power 2. Then the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. Then for this denominator, so the derivative of 3x squared, so multiply this 3 times 2. This one is 6x minus 1, so to the power 1. Then minus the derivative of negative 17x, this one is negative 17. The derivative of a constant, this one is 0. Then we can use now the direct substitution. So as x approaches to positive 5, so this becomes 3 times 5, then to the power 2, then over 6 times 5 minus 17. Then this becomes 3 times this 5 squared. That's 25, then over this one is 30, so 6 times 5 minus 17. Then this 3 times 5, this one is 75, then over this 30 minus 17, this is 13. So therefore the limit is equal to 75 over 13.